Hi, and welcome again to Preparing You for Life, a show dedicated to bring people from all aspects of life to teach you from their life lessons and experiences under the title, I wish someone told me earlier. And today's second episode will be titled, Stay Teachable. This episode follows on the first episode which we had with Dr. Khawda, where we talked about a couple of things related to finding awareness, finding yourself, and being able to stumble upon your true identity or true nature with it, any external outcomes or any external influences that might affect you, you should be aware on how to set your boundaries against it and focus on yourself. Being teachable teaches you the main purpose of everything that you want to achieve and it opens up all these aspects in life that you would be able to follow to base your decisions on where you want to go in life based on the experiences, the knowledge, and the openness for you to give every experience a chance so that you learn from it. I wish someone told me this before when I graduated from university because once I stumbled upon the corporate life, what happens is I focused all my energy into developing myself from that aspect only, where I wanted to find a better job, a better pay, a better title, and it didn't focus on investing more effort into myself and the investment that I should have had put all these years that has been gone into developing myself on a person level. With it, I could have understand myself better. I would have been able to cultivate a better understanding of where I wanted to go and what is it that I wanted to be. And this would have been happening through um, since a young age, where I changed my careers a couple of times. And when I reached the age of 30, this is where I started uh, understanding where I wanted to go in life, right? And this by itself led me to giving up everything that I've done in all these ex jobs that I had and start a new path completely, which is into some into something that I sincerely love and cherish based on um, the things that I've seen um, related to my values and the core element that I wanted to um, develop myself in based on the finding of who am I and what is it that I want out of life? So this path that I choose that I chose within the last four years was the health and well-being. And how did it start? I started off as a nutritionist and built my way up into being a wholesome coach that uses a holistic approach on um, cultivating a new perspective where I work with my clients with. Um, this is what I mean by every step that you take opens different um, perspectives in life that might lead you somewhere completely different, completely different than what you thought that you wanted. And it is because you give yourself enough chance to learn more about that specific field. And that would lead you to the journey of finding yourself, finding your passion and finding your own truth. Take the time to make yourself teachable, moldable, and eventually, every experience that you take a step towards, don't be afraid. We all start from a place of, um, let's say, undeveloped areas where we stumble upon something which we might fail the first time. Remember, this is your first time into this path. So don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself enough time to experience it, learn from it, develop yourself step by step along the way where you will cultivate a good amount of momentum that will lead you into progressing throughout this journey. So overall, the minute you graduate from school, the minute you graduate from university, if you are in a place where you're not so happy in, um, in the workplace that you're doing, I wish that you give yourself some time to explore as much as you can. This is where you will set your ego aside. You'll set all this um, external influences that have been started, like that have been implemented in you um, so that you be something that you didn't want or um, gave you an idea that this field might be good. Keep that aside. Start following what your heart is leading you to. Find that intention that keeps on calling you and pulling you towards that specific interest that you have. Explore it. Give yourself enough time and be completely honest with yourself that you gave it your all. 
don't be giving it just a one or two tries and that's it you give up and you be like okay this is not meant for me i'm not good enough i'm not experienced enough to follow this path give yourself enough time for you to be able to develop this area this experience which you've never tried before give yourself enough time and eventually put everything that you can within it and if you've seen yourself that um, you can't give anymore also try to get external help that would help you within this specific area so that you learn from this person's experience this person's knowledge and eventually what did they do to help them progress in their field of experience and this by itself would help you develop enough uh, momentum again to be able to pursue what is it that you want so bottom line stay teachable try to find something that you like and build that interest into giving yourself enough uh, effort to be put into this new field develop yourself to a point where you invest your uh, invest in yourself as much as you're putting in any kind of uh, work um, environment the effort that you put into it so that you be able to build as many skill sets as you can to be able to widen your own spectrum of knowledge and experiences so that when you get to a point in life there where you feel like okay this is not meant for me in the workforce let's say or the work environment or the job that you're doing as as of right now you have enough tools in your toolbox to give it a new um, experience and try out new things in life that would call would be your true calling so i'll leave you with this stay teachable because this is one of the main things that i wish someone told me earlier and there are a lot of stuff that you wouldn't learn from school university and your workplace as well so this is one of the main things that you might stumble upon something that you love and pursue a journey of something that you could say that's your true calling and make something wonderful out of your life stay teachable stay consistent and make sure that you be honest to yourself every single time you try something new god bless and see you in the next episode